It was right before the close of World War II that a few of the more enterprising UCLA fraternities began the quaint custom of serenading sorority sisters. It wasn't long before there was a difference of opinion as to whose group was the best. The singing competition grew quickly. In the years to follow, the event outgrew Royce Hall. The event fell dormant in 1968, but a decade later it was revived by students and alumni and it was moved back indoors to Royce Hall. By 1989, Springsing moved back outdoors to the Los Angeles Tennis Center, and by 2009 it was moved right back into Pauley. Now the event continues to grow to be a bigger and better show for Bruins, young and old. It's a UCLA event like no other. So now the question is, who will make Springsing history next? Whether you're performing on stage, working behind the scenes, or cheering from the audience, you are part of Springsing history. After spending the past year working with the talented students and incredible alumni that make this happen, I now understand why it's known as UCLA's oldest and greatest musical tradition. Each year, this show provides a glimpse into the lives of UCLA students, preserving our biggest memories and reflecting the growth and adaptability of our campus community. Over the past 75 years, generations of Bruins have carried Springsing's legacy onward, shaping it into a more accessible platform for the unique and diverse narratives of our vibrant student body with each new iteration. Springsing is known for showcasing the immense talent of UCLA students, but it's so much more than just a talent show. For many, Springsing is an integral moment that solidifies a sense of belonging. Whether you're dancing in your seat to original songs, laughing at company sketches until your stomach hurts, or swaying in unison with thousands of raised phone lights, to be part of Springsing in any capacity is to belong to something bigger than yourself. Tonight, we honor the hard work, resilience, and creativity of the UCLA community. And while we may not have a big arena, bright lights, or celebrity judges this year, Springsing 2020 is extraordinary for so many reasons. As we close out UCLA's centennial year, this show stands as a tribute to the Bruins that came before us, the innovators who changed the world, making it possible to share this moment with each other online, and the movers and shakers that paved the way, allowing us to come together in celebration of our individual and collective identities. At such an esteemed institution that is recognized for so many incredible contributions, Springsing emphasizes the power of art as a source of community building and personal healing. This unforgettable UCLA tradition will live on in the hearts and minds of Bruins for generations, thanks to the work of the Student Alumni Association and the support from UCLA Alumni Association, whose dedication to creating impactful experiences for past, present, and future Bruins ensures the longevity of events such as Springsing. Over the past few months, the cast and crew of Springsing 2020 have proven time and time again that joy, laughter, and human connection are always possible, even in times of crisis. They have exemplified tenacity, empathy, and compassion in the face of every obstacle, and they have shown that through collaboration, we can forge a sense of community that does not rely on physical proximity. What they have created for you all tonight is a culmination of their experiences at UCLA and beyond. We hope it reminds you that no matter where in the world you are, you are part of this Bruin community. You belong, you matter, and you have a story worth sharing. We can't wait to share our story with you tonight, so without further ado, welcome to Springsing. I am one of the proudest Bruins that there is. And one of the most amazing features of UCLA is its creative, artistic, and intellectual diversity. And Spring Sing has always been, and still is, and I think always will be, one of the most dynamic and exciting aspects of how our community comes together to show what we as Bruins can do creatively. I think one of my favorite things about Spring Sing is being able to see people try things that they haven't done before. And even if they have done them before, they probably haven't done them for an audience at the size of Poly Pavilion. The first time I watched Spring Sing, I was just completely blown away. Spring Sing to me is about really showcasing the art that's on campus. Being a part of Spring Sing has made me grow as an artist in so many different ways that I never expected it would. Spring Sing uh, was really a core part of my UCLA experience. Spring Sing 2020 has come to mean like resilience and powering through for me. Spring Sing is an opportunity to celebrate your accomplishments at UCLA. Spring Sing was a really great way for me to get out of my comfort zone. Spring Sing. 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 no idea what I was getting myself into. And I just remember being so in awe of 
what was happening and of all these people sitting in the same room on the same night um, and just seeing everyone, you know, laughing at all the same jokes and singing along to the same songs and seeing how talented UCLA was as a community. It's just the environment and the community and how talented everyone was and I knew that that was something that I really needed to be a part of. I'm so thankful for it because it's like, it's like my one chance, I feel like, just to like, put it all out there and just like share my music and not be scared. And we decided to go for it and now that we're here and doing it, it's like such an amazing thing. Like, I never thought I'd be performing with my brother. The company specifically is full of laughs that bring together in the arena that usually we have in Poly Pavilion, um, close to 10,000 people. Whereas now I think there's a really good opportunity for Spring Sing 2020 specifically is to unite people that feel so lonely. Every single person had to reevaluate why they were doing it for themselves. So it kind of reevaluates it for everything. It's very, it's very personalized. Adjusting to the stay at home order has definitely been a process. It's been pretty difficult. It's been a little bit of a rocky start for sure. It's been pretty hard. We had to kind of do a 180 and start from scratch. But, but, but we're we're making moves in how we're approaching the situation. Um, I think everyone has been really awesome in terms of, you know, being flexible with this entire process, changing up their vision, um, and being creative with the technology and the resources that we have available. Sander, you know, recorded his piano tracks on GarageBand, and I had to record my vocals in my dad's tool closet in our basement. I've been able to kind of work on a lot of my creative video projects and have some, you know, fun, cool stuff in store for the digital showcase. Trying to make content that revolves around Zoom and um, quarantine and those kinds of things, but not trying to focus too much on the negative aspects of those. If anything, try and find whatever um, progress and happiness and funny elements has come out of this really crazy time. A lot of people could have said, we're not going to do it this year. But these students decided that against all odds, they create something magical for the brewing community. It's such a cool concept to just be able to like share your passion with other people. And like, especially now, like being able to share my passion with other people all over the country, it's, it, it makes me really excited because I get to do something I love and other people get to witness me do it. I wouldn't have made any of the music that I make today without any of them. Um, and, I, and I sometimes forget that. I forget that Spring Sing was kind of the, the starting point of me having any sort of musical community at UCLA. The UCLA community has recently been through a lot given the current pandemic in the world, and I can't think of a better event to bring together Bruins from all over the world. It's never been about the venue of Spring Sing, it's always been about the Bruin community coming together for a night of music and art and comedy. Uh, 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 we have something a little better for you. <laughs> Great with egg! After three years of pitching the sketch, it finally made it into the show. You can go to Kirkhoff Patio and try some grapes with egg. It's another one of those really overwhelming moments because I realize now that I really did contribute to like, I really did contribute to a culture. Single I will always be chasing the love and passion that I got from Spring Sing. I think it was one of the best things that I'll ever do and be a part of, um, and I'm just really grateful to be part of the Spring Sing community. Never know the kind of impact these songs or these dances or these poems, these comedy sketches, you know, it can really affect someone. And I was sitting there and I was like looking around at people and seeing if people were laughing and no one was laughing as hard as I was, but I was like, my, this is exactly my sense of humor. This is such a bizarre and 
exciting group of people on stage and I feel so at home knowing that there are other people in this community that are making content that is making me laugh like this. I think by everyone being able to laugh together and watch the same things and kind of relate to experiences that we're all going through, but sometimes it's hard to get out of our bubble and realize that everyone else is uh, going through the same thing. I think something so beautiful and so unique about Spring Sing is the fact that it kind of encourages everyone to relate to everyone else around them in that moment over this one shared experience. And that shared experience is live in Poly Pavilion, or whether it's here now, we're watching it on our laptops or our phones from our individual homes, you know? There's still that same sense of being able to relate to this period in time that we're all going through. The more present you feel and the more you let yourself enjoy little things like this show we're putting on, the more that happiness that is created from that will carry on for the rest of your days in whatever state this is that we're living in. Every single person that I asked, upperclassmen, alumni, it doesn't matter who it was, their eyes kind of lit up with, I don't know if it was happiness or pride or something, but it was something beautiful because they were talking about something that unified the school in such a way that it was just, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody talk about something like that. Yeah, we are home. Home is wherever I'm with you. CLA, oh. Thank you. Thank you so much to the entire cast and crew of Spring Sing 2020, to the Student Alumni Association, and to the UCLA Alumni Association, and especially Allison Beckman. You are a Wonder Woman, and this show would not be possible without you. Thank you so much to all the talent acts for your hard work and dedication towards creating these awesome videos. We are so proud of all of you. And if you want to rewatch any of the talent videos, please go check out that portion of the website. Thank you to all of our wonderful members of the company and film crew. We had so much fun working with you. We are so proud of you and the audience. We hope you laughed with us. And thank you to our celebrity mentors for your dedication and willingness to work with our student talent. Without your commitment, we truly would not have been able to provide this once in a lifetime opportunity to all of our talent acts. We hope you guys enjoyed getting to know the wonderful talent UCLA has to offer a little bit better. Thank you, Documentary Crew, for accommodating to your new positions and for all your hard work. And thank you so much to everyone who submitted content for the documentary as well as interviewed with us. We really got to enjoy the chance to get to know you. And don't forget to check out the art show on our website featuring some amazing student talent. Thank you all so much for watching and for your continued support of Spring Sing through our social media accounts. Go check out everything you just saw on our YouTube page and remember to like your favorite videos for our Bruin Choice Award that will be announced at 5 p.m. on Friday, June 5th. And most of all, thank you to all the first responders and essential workers that are working tirelessly through this pandemic. If you enjoyed any of the content you saw tonight, all the videos are uploaded on YouTube and at springsing2020.com. One final shout out to our parents. You mean so much to us. We hope you all had a great night. Enjoy the rest of your evenings and we will see you next year. <laughs>